It's good to be back. <laughs> how, does feel, how does you feel like uh, Sasha has just opened a store? Okay, yeah. East Coast. So what do you want to say about the store? Like you just went inside and saw everything. How was it? First of all, a huge congratulations to my very dear friend Sasha Sharma for opening her first studio, her first store. Um, I have been seeing her journey for a very long time. Actually, we've been friends for almost 10 years. So um, she's one of the most hardworking women I know. And I think what uh, inspires me when I watch her is that she truly um, wants to further the Indian fashion community, the, the Indian fashion. And um, there's so much that we can do in future, you know. Um, and I love that all her pieces are um, one of a kind, um, their um, capsule collection. Uh, she has a lot of unique pieces, um, limited edition pieces, which I think is uh, not what most fashion brands nowadays do. Most yeah. fashion brands just go on numbers, and uh, I don't think that's uh, a good way forward. I think what she is doing is brilliant. She's doing one of a kind pieces. Um, and uh, Sash, her label is uh, really beautiful. Obviously, I'm wearing one of the dresses that she gifted me. Um, so all the best, Sasha. I hope that you will make it very far. And I love that you're doing something responsible for fashion. You're producing only in India. And uh, I think that's commendable. And we should all support our local designers and buy from your next neighbor's store, basically. So this is in car. So anyone who's here in car, Mumbai, please drop by the store and have a look. Sasha, it's all about like street style fashion. Mm -hmm. How you found out like street style fashion? Um, I buy a lot of secondhand clothing. Uh, I buy it all around the world, uh, from Berlin to Sydney to Mumbai. Um, so I'm, of course, a lot into street fashion. But if you ask me for my personal style, I just wear a black dress and that's it. <laughs> I have my stylists who like source and get uh, beautiful things for me um, for every event. But then I usually get it like on rent or I just borrow it from a designer. Um, and I know there are lots of rental stores now too in Mumbai, which is fun. I think you can even rent it here at Sash. You have to check with Sasha. But <laughs> I think that's pretty cool because we all always want to wear something new, you know. It's like one Instagram picture and then, oh my God, I can't wear this again. Or one wedding and you're like, oh my gosh, I've worn this last week at a wedding and now I have to go to another cousin's wedding and how can I come in the same lenga? But uh, I think we need to just really break those stereotypes on uh, fashion because it's never been this way you know we've always worn dresses over and over again and uh, I think our mothers have been altering their sari blouses forever so um, I think you should when you shop you should shop stuff that will last you for a long time so you should have something that is uh, custom made handmade and all that is also available here everything is handmade and it can be altered because it's from a local designer um, and uh, the fabrics are sourced locally. So it's definitely a better choice even on your carbon footprint, you know, to support your local designers instead of buying international brands. And um, I'm really proud of Sasha. So do drop by. Okay, lastly, have you any further projects you're working on? I am, I am. And uh, all of them will be announced when they will be announced by <laughs> production houses. <laughs> they always tell me, you can't talk about it, Evelyn. And I'm too, talking way too much, so. <laughs> But yeah, I'm always back and forth. Uh, I've shifted with my fiance Tushan to um, Australia. But uh, <laughs> yes, uh, planning a wedding is quite a thing. But um, I'm always back and forth. I'm still shooting my show in Germany as well. So I'm three times a year I have to go to Germany, which is great because then we can plan our summer holidays, you know, accordingly, spend the summer in Europe. Um, but yeah, I'm here. I still have my nonprofit organization, Seems for Dreams, which is running very successfully here in uh, Mumbai and in India. 
and uh, I have a marketing company here, WIP Creative, so I'm busy. <laughs> and, um, we have a lot to do, but yeah, it's good. It's good to be back. I feel like home in Mumbai. Thank you yeah. so much, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.